When the American government supports foreign puppet dictators, the American people and the American government loses. And in World War II, so first we pivoted to the emblem of the good guys. Now we discuss the, the bad things. And the bad things are essentially, in China you had this puppet dictator, an American puppet by the name of Zhang Kai-shek, or Jiang Jieshi. His regime, his so-called Republic of China, or Zhonghua Mingguo, from 1912 to 1949, was a puppet state. And this has, there's a mirror of this effect happening in countries, in different places where there's, a, there's an American-backed dictator who's unpopular, he's a puppet, he's overthrown, and that's what happens. So basically, when you, when you back an American puppet regime, you get no money back. So we're talking about, there's these argument about bonds, about people who, who basically, Americans who supported this a corrupt puppet regime overthrown by the Chinese people, and they somehow think that China owes them money. China owes you nothing. When you support a puppet dictator despised by the Chinese people, you get no money back and should never expect any money back. And, and this is what happens. So basically, governments don't collapse unless they don't have the legitimacy of the people. And so you look at what happens in Afghanistan. All these years, America has nothing to show for it. They have nothing to show for it, uh, basically, in, in long term, because... There would they never there was never an organic government that was truly loved by the people and then you look what happens basically you have is it the new regime or the old regime takes over once again but basically when you have it is never a good idea so it is never a good idea to give money to an American puppet that is that's not popular that's likely to be overthrown in a few years so this is what happened with World War II, when you give money to a dictator that collapses, that's overthrown, you get no money.